What's up guys, I'm James from the Great Gambino channel and right now I'm getting over bronchitis so I haven't made a video in the last week or two. On a positive note, I pre-ordered a Tesla Model 3. I'm really excited about that and um, I'm thinking to go with either the gunmetal gray, they had a matte finish gunmetal gray, or I might just stick with black. I'm, I tend to be a, a black car guy. Uh, I just think they look sleek and nice. They don't go into production till the end of 2017 so I've got plenty of time to figure it out. But what do you guys think? What color would you go with? The gunmetal gray? That it's a matte finish or the black? Put a comment down below. Speaking of waiting, it looks like I'm gonna be waiting a little bit longer for my Oculus Rift to arrive. It was supposed to come early this month here in April, but Oculus sent me an email update and let me know that I won't be receiving my headset, unfortunately, until around the end of May, all the way up to June 9th. Definitely upset to hear that after the long wait, but because it has been such a long wait, I could live with a little bit longer. It's not gonna be the end of the world. But I wanted to give you guys that information and let you know what's going on and why I haven't been updating any videos or doing any game reviews. It is kind of hard seeing all these other YouTubers review the new games and all the new applications that are out, and I'm still just kind of stuck in limbo, but no big deal. Soon enough, I'll have the headset and we'll start kicking some ass. One of the things I wanted to talk about as a topic in this video is room scale. Now everybody knows HTC Vive offers room scale and Oculus Rift does not. But the question I have is, will Oculus Rift be able to eventually pull off room scale? There was a video I saw not too long ago, someone actually tested it with the one camera setup that the Oculus has, and surprisingly it worked rather well. I'm gonna try to find the video and I'll, I'll have a link down below if I can find the video so you guys can check it out. But what the person did was they actually taped off a gigantic area, well I mean it was a big enough area that they had to use as their room, and they taped off the floor and the tape also worked as kind of like a makeshift shift chaperone system where if your foot would touch the tape you'd feel the it was like gaffer tape or something like that you it would let you know you're getting close to the edge and you might want to back up now i was impressed with how much of the room he was able to move around in and not lose track so when we get the Oculus Touch, the motion controllers that are gonna be out soon, you're going to get a second camera with that, which is gonna give you twice the amount of coverage of space as far as where the information can be inputted into the computer, letting the computer know where you are in space. Now that makes me wonder, are they going to basically be able to pull off room scale with the Oculus? Because I'm still debating buying the HTC Vive, but I just right now don't feel like I wanna just throw the money out and I, I'm, curious as to whether it's going to really be necessary to have all three headsets. I know a lot of the people I watch have bought all three and I would be willing to do that just for video sake, but I gotta wait and see if it's gonna be worth it. I wanna kinda let this thing unfold. The headsets are pretty expensive, so I'm gonna let it unfold just a little bit and see where each one is at before I, before I jump in on all three. One thing that really does bother me is when I log into my Oculus Home account, I have to re-download the games that I've already bought for my Gear VR. Now, I mean, if this was iTunes and you bought a song and you had an iPad and you had an iPhone, would you want to rebuy the same games for a different piece of hardware? Games like Keep Talking and No One Explodes, Dread Halls, and Adventure Time all show up as needing to be repurchased if I want to play them on my Oculus Rift. That's something I actually hope changes in the future because it doesn't make sense to have to buy, especially smaller cell phone based games twice just to be able to enjoy them. So that pretty much wraps everything up that I wanted to go over. We have a few more weeks before I can really jump into some new consumer VR videos. I can't wait. It's gonna happen. It's gonna get here sooner or later. Well, I guess it's definitely gonna be later, but in any event, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.